Hey guys, just thought you might want to take a look at the code and everything that I have for my player object for my new game that's coming out soon. Um, I just got a create event here with some simple code, um, just initializing variables and different things, different alarms that set different values to true after certain things happen, which will be used much later in the game. Obviously, key press escape this is early in development, so it'll just go back to the menu screen and then some collisions um, and then some other collisions as well um, as well as when you're outside room it actually resets your position instead of like resetting a checkpoint if you like fall off a platform or something it'll bring you back to the to the last x1 y1 position um, and those get reset I have little checkpoint boxes throughout um, and I can actually show those these little boxes right here are those checkpoint boxes and I'll spawn you in the middle of those and then the actual movement code for the player object is in here. So I've got a little camera control thing so you can widen and decrease the size of the camera. It's all managed by that. And I've got another little thing. This is just for testing for now um, to switch between different powers, quote unquote powers, abilities, whatever you want to say. Um, and so I've got a switch statement that, that can cycle through any of those based on the last um, pressed character if it's one through five to switch between these. Um, and then if action is true, this field here, then we're able to actually see um, the movement. So VK left um, is if you're basically holding down, anytime you're holding down the left arrow key, it'll enact this code here. Same with the right code and I've got this SPD uh, function there. Um, I think I set that in, yeah, in the create event. Um, and then obviously those values are set um, in those very similar ways there. And I've got uh, the jump here. I always have to put more checks in to make sure there's something underneath you and, and different things like that to make sure you can jump. So that's what this is doing. And then a jump check for other parts of the jumps. Make, make sure you can't just keep jumping over and over again you have to release it and then jump again um, and so then it's just the code to make you jump and then I've got this functionality here uh, or sorry right here that if you hit the down arrow it will actually change your your speed direction down um, at the, this speed so you can kind of land faster than you would just by using the gravity I feel like this might work a little bit better and then obviously a backspace just restarts the room which might be kind of nice. Every room is pretty small, so um, it'll be it won't be that big of an inconvenience to reset it if it's easier to to do that with um, for whatever reason. It's kind of puzzle based, so if you kind of mess it up, then then maybe you might want to reset instead of dealing with how you messed it up. But uh, yeah, so that is a quick look at the player character for my new game. Um, Glaucus Primary is the working title. Glaucus is a certain shade of blue, uh, which is the shade of blue I'm using as the primary color in the game. And then I'm using its uh, uh, complementary color, this uh, kind of brown-ish color um, as the other color. So, thanks for watching.